Well, the jury has been hearing closing arguments today in the trial of Joseph Belstead. He is charged with murder in the death of 17-year-old Mandy Steingasser of North Tonawanda all the way back in 1993. Tony Sides' Dave McKinley was in the courtroom earlier today. Dave? This trial, Scott, has stretched more than three weeks and featured 45 witnesses, the credibility of whom, along with the evidence, came under heavy attack by Bellstadt's lawyer this afternoon. In a nearly two and a half hour summation, Bellstadt's attorney, Michelle Bergevin, reminded jurors the case against her client is largely circumstantial. Though Bellstadt was the last known person to have been seen with Mandy Steingasser while she was alive and before her body was found in a park five weeks later, she insists the cops viewed her client as low hanging fruit in their effort to make a case against someone and took particular aim at a man called to the stand by prosecutors who she claimed that while he was in prison with Bellstadt 20 years ago, this man claimed that Bellstadt told him about being involved in a threesome in his car during which a girl was strangled. A witness, his lawyer, openly referred to as the fraudster. He was doing a favor for the cops. Who did him a favor? Saved him seven years. That fraudster is their star witness. Does that sound desperate to you? She noted that the absence of what would have been several key witnesses from the initial investigation 28 years ago, many of whom have died, and others who had trouble recollecting details from way back then. With each major point made, Bergevin would come back to the same catchphrase when pointing to her client and saying, it wasn't Joe. She did that more than a dozen times. Prosecutors just finished their closing argument a couple of minutes ago, so we'll have more about what they had to say tonight at 6. In the Information Center, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.